Hello guys, it is Friday. I am back in my happy place already for a busy day at work slash a busy few weeks at work to be honest. So like I said last night, I am just going to fill you in on basically how the show went because I am well aware that there's next to nothing content wise um, of us at the show and that is just because it was so busy. For the first two days we were pretty much speaking to people non-stop, like from nine till six. It was just incredible. So it was four days long. So as I said, the first two days were non-stop busy. Third day was quite slow to be honest. And then the last day, which is normally the kind of worst day for football, was actually pretty busy for us as well. So I'm pretty sure I mentioned here on the vlog um, before we left that I was feeling pretty nervous to be honest about going to the NEC and it was a lot of money for us to spend on a stand, like the most money we've ever spent at a show exhibiting. So it was really scary, but I'm glad to say that it definitely paid off. We signed up 34 new stockists, some from Scotland, mostly from England, one from Northern Ireland and one or two from Wales as well. Um, and we also had top up orders of two of our stockists that we met in Harrogate. Yeah, it was nice to see them again. And I think that's what's gonna be good about doing these trade shows is that like, although it's a long journey for us, um, it does mean that we should be able to kind of like check in with a lot of our stockists in England who attend those shows rather than kind of like going and seeing them all individually, which to be honest, we could just not do. Like most people who are kind of um, working with a lot of stockists in a lot of different areas will have reps, but we're, not really wanting to go down that route. To be honest, we want to work with people as much as we can ourselves um, and not really kind of give that over to anyone else. So to be honest, it completely exceeded our expectations. We were kind of hoping and aiming, I guess, um, although a lot of it was out of our control in terms of like footfall and everything like that. But we were aiming to get another 10 stockists. That's how many we got at Harrogate. We were really happy with that. That was the most we'd ever got from a trade show at that time. So we thought if we can get 10, that would be great. We'll be delighted. And yeah, so I think honestly by about lunchtime on the first day, we'd be our target. So that's incredible. We also, should I say this? I'm not going to name any names, not because I've been asked not to, but just, I just don't want to jinx anything before, you know, anything is signed off. Um, it's still very early days, but we have been approached by some interesting people. I will say. So yeah, I'm gonna keep it vague, but we did have a couple of different people um, come on our stand and basically note their interest and they're kind of like big companies, I guess, and they'll normally do their ordering kind of way in advance. So actually one of them put an order in to trial us in one of their stores. And then the other ones, you know, they're, they will be basically looking if they're going to try us, they will be looking to do so probably spring next year. And so kind of like took details and everything like that. And then they'll probably get in contact with us at the start of next year. And we're gonna be going to spring fair in Birmingham as well. So chances are we'll probably see them there as well. So that's super exciting. So basically in one show, we have doubled our stockists. <laughs> To be honest, I was getting a little bit stressed, like even at the show, like, so yeah, even though meeting like all of these lovely people and opening up the counts and everything was amazing and I'm not complaining for a second, as a maker, in the back of my mind, I was just like, oh my goodness, I am going to be so busy when I get home. I'm gonna be literally flat out for like three weeks and the company that's trialing us in one store if they do decide to roll us out across i think 35 stores across the uk then it's just gonna be like apocalyptic i have also just received this lovely hoodie from little forget me nots um who i've been following on instagram and tiktok for a while now and i saw that she was doing these kind of like embroidered sweaters sweatshirts and you can personalize like the writing on it so i thought i'll get chandler and it's literally like it's so soft on the inside it's lovely and i'm looking very 
beige, aren't I? But I don't care. I love it. I will leave her website linked below if you want to go and have a little look. But yeah, so that is my chat. Um, I hope you enjoyed my little impromptu story time and I am gonna get back to work now. I've got 45 jars there ready to pour my cashmere vanilla candle into. Um, that was the only one that I was kind of running a teensy bit low, actually very low on before we left. So that is the first one that's getting made. And then tomorrow I'm going to be going straight into Christmas candles because we have sold, I don't even know how many, a lot at the show. Luckily they're all for pre-orders so the earliest they'll be going out will be kind of the last week in September of this month. So obviously I have like four left from last year literally so <laughs> I'm gonna be starting from nothing pretty much. I will show you quickly how my stock is looking. So this is obviously all that I was working on in the kind of weeks leading up to us leaving for Birmingham. I'm also hoping to get another melter. That is a 27 litre wax melter if you don't know from London Luxury Candle Supplies and we were in the van coming home last night and I was like oh now is the time that I can invest in another melter. Um, obviously we've got a lot of pro forma invoices due to us so kind of yeah, we can spend a little bit of money now basically on all of our supplies and anything that's gonna help us get orders out quicker basically. Um, but unfortunately it was sold out on their website. So hopefully, I think it's actually due in like a week or two. So I'm gonna be eagle eyed on their website checking it up um, and checking their Facebook page for updates as well because that will make such a big difference compared to using soup kettles which is what I'm currently using so fingers crossed they come in sooner rather than later. Hi guys, it's much later now and I've got all of my postage labels ready to pack all of the orders that came in whilst we were away. Time to get packing and then I can drop them off first thing tomorrow on my way in.
Good morning guys, it's Saturday today and if you're wondering why you saw us walking without our car, it's because there's actually a big gate um, into where our unit is with the other units in this part of the industrial estate and it was closed and locked and there's only one person who has the key for it and he's not here. I just had to like park my car over there on the road. Um, it's safe, it's fine, it's a really quiet estate. Um, but yeah, I just had to ditch my car there. I definitely need to um, get the key off Gordon for next time this happens, because it's getting really annoying. I need to give the place a proper good tidy up today, I think. Um, and I'm also going to pour some more candles. I'm not going to do any labeling or anything like that because I actually have someone coming to help me next week which is very exciting um just for a couple of hours i think three or four days a week just to help with like labeling twining um all kinds of things like that so that should be good I have just finished pouring all of my candles for the day. It literally smells like Christmas in here because this is all Christmas tree. So I just had a quick look on Shopify. Um, Gordon is still putting the orders through. Obviously it's Saturday so he's quite busy um, at work today but he's been trying to kind of get the orders on as and when he can so I don't know how many there are left to go on but the last time that I looked kind of on the sales by product sold report at Christmas tree I was like I'm sure you know like a batch like this which is 90 candles will be fine like for a starting point that'll probably cover all of the candles sold um in the pre-orders from Birmingham and kind of give us a bit to have going forward as well um <laughs> and I just looked and it said we'd sold 158 Christmas tree candles already and as I said that's not all of the orders been put through yet so I'm guessing it might be closer to 200. I don't know. Honestly, don't know. Yeah, I'm just, I'm going through waves of feeling like it's fine, I've got this. We aren't gonna be dispatching any of the orders until kind of the last week in September for Christmas pre-orders. So I'm like, it's fine, I've got like three weeks. What am I worrying about? And then I go through waves of just being like, oh my God. Yeah, so it's just kind of a bit of a, Roller coaster of emotions right now. I'm looking forward to actually having everything on Shopify so that I know in black and white exactly how much I have to do. And then to be honest, I'm probably gonna plan out all of my days until we're gonna be dispatching the orders just so that I can keep myself on the right track and 
yeah, I think organization is just gonna be the number one most important thing right now. So it's just after three, but I think I'm going to scoot off. Yes. I'm going to scoot off um, home in a little bit because we are going um, over to our friend's house for dinner tonight. So I'm gonna get home, get showered, changed, everything like that. And yeah, it should be good. Hello guys, it's Sunday. We have just been out for breakfast and we are now going for a nice little dog walk as well. Although we are feeling, well, I'm feeling a little bit worse for wear. I'm not well. You're all right. I am all right, I just feel a bit Eggs Benny help this morning. Yeah, eggs Benedict, hot chocolate. Mm -hmm. We are at Lockhore Meadows, mm -hmm. which we've actually never been to before, which is ridiculous because it's like 10 minutes away. We're going to get our jabs next, right? Yep, going to drop in, get our second dose of the vaccine, and then might be going to Paco's again in Perth because that restaurant was so good. Hi guys, we have just got vaxxed up. So we both had two of our doses now. So I'm feeling fine to be honest, we both are, but we'll see if we get any side effects later on. But anyway, we've just got into Perth and plugged the car into charge and we are going to Paco's for dinner and I'm so excited for some Italian food because it was so good last time, so. guys it is monday obviously i forgot to sign off the vlog last night um but i just wanted to 
jump on quickly just to round it off um obviously we did not actually book a table for Paco's because we didn't know how long it was going to take to get our vaccines um and we actually did end up queuing for quite a bit so yeah unfortunately they did not have any tables for us so that was a bummer but um we actually did end up just kind of walking across the road we saw this place called Keezas which we've never been to but I think it gets quite a good rep online so yes we thought we'll just try in there they had a table for us only for like an hour and a bit but actually everything came out so quickly and the food was really 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 good so it all worked out well in the end and I'm like <laughs> didn't we did bit you we got home at like seven so <laughs> It was actually quite good that we kind of like got in early because we were both so tired. We ended up watching a film, what was it called? The Tomorrow War on Amazon. It was actually really good. A bit far flung, but yeah, really good film. And then yeah, we literally finished that at like 10 and I was just falling asleep. So I went to bed and Gordon watched his car YouTubers for a bit. Now I'm off to work bright and early to try and get the vlog edited, which is over a week late, maybe two weeks late. But yeah, with everything that's been going on, I just have not had time to sit down and edit. So I'm going to try and do that today and try and get it up maybe for tomorrow or Wednesday. So as always, I just want to say thank you so much for watching this week's vlog. Please do make sure to subscribe if you're new and give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And we will see you in the next one. Bye guys.